so guys, I'm Vince, and welcome back to Automation of Car Company Tycoon Game, and I feel like there's recently been a lack of gigantic V8s on my channel. So, to remedy that, we're building the first generation of the Falcon Tempest, which is that muscle car I built a few weeks ago. So, that's basically all we're doing, and we're gonna drive it in BMG at the end. So, what does a muscle car have? Like a 70s muscle car, late 60s muscle car, early 70s? Well, as you can see, it's kind of like a Roadrunner type body, so it's a big, big, uh, big muscle car. And I, Mopar? I mean, it's Mopar, yeah. Plymouth, Mopar. I think that. He, why am I drawing a blank? Plymouth is Mopar, so this is like a Mopar style car. If you don't know Mopar, it's just like Chrysler, Dodge. I just knocked the controller off my desk. Nice. It's like Plymouth, Dodge, um, Chrysler. You know, stuff like that. So you know, big boys, big boys with giant engines. The type of stuff that uh, has like a horn that goes dee 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 dee. You know, if you know what I mean. If you know if I, you, if you know, you know. Okay. And block material, yes. You know, we're just gonna put a gigantic, not a 10 liter. That's a little too gigantic. Maybe like a 8 liter. Yeah, boy. And an 8 liter push rod. All aluminum V8. Merca. And then, yeah, sure, we'll have some of that. Actually, we'll do forged internals. Because as far as I know, um, wait a second, it did the thing again. It did the thing again where I have to bring it back into the past. There we go. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, um, the Dodge, I think the 1967 Coronet 440RT. I think it had forged internals because I was doing some research for a video I scrapped. But uh, yeah, it had a forged internal, so this is a little bit newer, so forged internals, and it's a bigger engine, so we're probably going to need it. We are not going to rev anywhere. It's also going to be a six-pack. Yep. There we go, big boy. Yeah, look at that. And then uh, it's going to be leaded. Because leaded gas is still a thing. It'll be on, like, 92. And then tubular headers, dual exhaust. Three-inch exhaust. And then straight through and baffled. Oh, well, look, we're actually not dying that much. We're not dying that much. The crank is disintegrating. That's because we didn't make it forged. Look, we can rev the five. We can rev the 4,900. Reliability. We can almost rev the 5,000 RPM with a gigantic engine. Nice. Most of my engines that are small don't even rev that high, which is kind of bad. We don't talk about that. Also, we need way more power than this. Um, give me the power. Four. <gasps> 420. No way. 420 horsepower. Hell yeah. Let's see, do we got any restrictions? No. Intakes are restricting just a tiny bit. Yeah, I put like a race on that. That killed everything. Oops. 429. 420. 429. Doobie 429, there it is. And how about if we do like this thing? 433! Whoa! 20 carb! Okay, no, wait, that's kind of useless. Um, no, 300. Ew. 429 horsepower. We have, we have too much torque. Who cares? Torque is good for you. Torque's what makes the world go around. Um, cam profile, yes, that is probably needed. I killed the power for some reason? What the hell? I guess we don't want Kian Profile on this. Weird. That's very strange. Muscle cars usually are like, all oh, the Kian Profile, ah! Also, I just noticed this thing's gonna be like, almost undrivable. Yeah, sure. 434 horsepower. Why not? That's probably the most horsepower they would have back then, you know? Man, that was loud. Ouch. And then... I'll design that in a second. It's gonna be a four speed! Hell yeah. And then... Top speed of 173. Wow, that's a lot of speeds. That's a lot of speeds! For a car like this. So I'm just gonna leave it at 130 and hope we don't, like, disintegrate while going down the road. And because it's 1970, it's gonna be radial. Sports compound tires. Oh no. With mags. With mag rims. And this is as big as I can make, make them. Okay, uh, 13s. 
That does look stupid. That looks stupid. I guess we've gotta get like bigger wheels. Cause we gotta be okay. One nine fives. Eh. That might work. And if it doesn't, oh well, we're just gonna be one wheel peeling everywhere. So it's not like we're gonna die. And then brakes. Yeah, we have brakes. Did they work? And I guess we'll find out. This is like literally the 70s like American muscle car approach. It's like, does it go fast? Yes? All right, cool. Does it sound good? Yes? All right, sick. And uh, does it have brakes? Maybe, I don't know. That's about right. Um, yeah, sure, standard 60s safety. I mean, you have all this metal and a giant engine in front of you, so if you get in a crash and die, it's kind of your fault. Except this cars like this kind of just like break in half when you crash. <laughs> Severe issues with wheel spin. No, I wouldn't expect that at all. I completely expected that. And it's, we're gonna have like normal tuning and a little bit, like a little bit wobbly. Just a tiny bit wobbly. Severe issues with wheel spin. The brakes are shit. It has short gearing. Brakes suffer from brake fade. Engine bay is quite full. Okay, dude. No, these are like non-problems. Problems that don't exist. But here, I'll listen to your stupid... Oh, the tough speed, the setting's too low. Look, does that look bad to you? We have 27% wheel spin, who cares? All right, I'll design this and I'll be right back.
And here we are with the 1970 Falcon Tempest R500. And I gotta say, this is the kind of car that comes for you at night. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Like, imagine being in a dark alleyway. Like, I'm setting the scene. It's a dark alleyway. You're in some big city. The the vents on the full ground, like, have steam coming up from, like, the subway system. Right? You're looking around. You hear a noise. You turn around. You see this car staring at you. Yeah, hey, yo, uh, Stephen King. <laughs> Christine, too. Anyways, yeah. Um, time for me to go take a bunch of pictures of it. And then I will, uh, take it over into BMG. See you guys there. Okay, now we're in Beam and G, and I just want to say, I like if we look at my cars I've built, like you got all look at all these colors, like look at all those stock car colors, and you come down here, it's my cars, and they're all black and blue and yellow and kind of purplish and black and black and black and blue and we don't talk about that one, but it's like damn, I really need to get like I, I need to get creative with colors, and I try, but it looks like ass. Okay, now let's start this bad boy up. Hold up. Hold up. Did you did you hear that start? Listen. I'm gonna do that again. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. You're the king of, uh, king of Detroit right now with this thing. It's not slow either. How about the brakes? No. Nope. Automation is right. No brakes here. I like it though. It sounds good. The brakes could use a little bit of work, but I guess that's kind of realistic. in this car. I like it a lot. It's very loud though. I have to kind of yell. Like, ah, oh, the car is loud. Ugh. That's how it is though. Oh, I got some shit in my eye and it's burning. Ah! What the hell? What'd I get in my eye? Hold on, I got some shit in my eye. Ah! I'm gonna take it to the track after I fix my eyeball. Okay, my eyeball isn't completely fixed, but let's go. All right, that's that's a start. I don't know if it's a good one, but it, it's, it's some kind. Wow, this car is actually kind of weird to drive. I can't tell if it's easy or really hard. Whoa! What are we doing over here? fucking like slid out okay the 
this. I hate this corner. It's so deceptively weird. Pretty slow, but it would have went a lot faster if I didn't crash. So I mean, we could take like 10 seconds off this time for like the real time, you know. Look, we went pretty slow, but you know, realistically, I mean, went faster than a DCM Fuego GT8. So I mean, I guess this is kind of like a realistic time. Yeah. Okay, cool. Wow, that kind of... No, look at him. He looks so sad. Anyways. Okay, shut up. So loud. Until next time, I'm Vince. I'll see you guys later. Oh, I just burped in the fucking microphone. Uh